In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve a right triangle. When we're solving a right triangle, there's two possible triangles we come up with. Uh, one is where we either have a side and one of the angles, or the other is where we have two sides. So, given a side and an angle, we want to be able to solve the right triangle. What it means to solve the right triangle is to find all the missing pieces in that triangle. So, if we start out with a triangle like this, and I tell you that one side is five units long and we have an angle that's say 50 degrees. Uh, if we label this triangle A, B, C, and if you remember from geometry, when you label a triangle A, B, C, the uh, third side, or the opposite each angle is how we label the side. So this would be little b, little c, and down here we'd have little a, which in this case we're saying is 5. So when I go to solve the right triangle, what I'll typically do is I'll list out the sides, A, B, C. I want to find all those. Then I want to find the measure of angle A, the measure of angle B, and the measure of angle C. So given what I have in this triangle, I can say that the measure of angle B is 50 degrees, and the, me and the length of side A is 5. So from that, sorry, I can see there's a glare right on my angle. Well, we're going to have to pretend that glare is not there. Uh, all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at what I have and say, uh, given that this angle C we already know is 90 degrees because it's the right angle, I can just subtract because I know all three angles have to add up to 180. Measure of angle A has to be 40 degrees. So I've got all three angles. Now I just need to find the missing sides, and we're going to use trig to do that. So I'm going to always take the ones that I know are exact, which is the 5 here and the 50 degree for angle B. I'm going to use those and set up a trig, a trig equation that'll allow me to solve for B. And I could choose B or C, it doesn't matter which one I do, I'm gonna choose B first. So I'm gonna say, uh, given this, that B is opposite the angle, A is adjacent. So I'm gonna use the tangent, and we'd say the tangent of 50 degrees is equal to opposite B over adjacent, which we know is five. Uh, solving for B, we get that B is gonna be five times the tangent of 50 degrees. Now, if I had my calculator with me, I could find the exact value. So hold on a second, let me go grab a calculator. Okay, back with my calculator. So if I enter that into the calculator, I'm going to get 5 times the tangent of 50, which comes out to be approximately, and if we round to the nearest tenth, it's 5.96, or to the nearest tenth, uh, 6.0. So I'm going to put that over here, say that Side B is 6.0, and I'm going to solve for side C now. Now the thing is, because it's a right triangle, once I have two sides, you could think, oh, I might use the Pythagorean theorem. But we don't want to use the Pythagorean theorem here because this is a rounded value. We're going to lose accuracy. So we're going to go back to the original drawing and say, given side A is 5, angle B is 50, I want to find... Uh, the missing side C, and so we'd say, well, given this case, C is the hypotenuse and A is the adjacent side, so uh, opposite and adjacent would be cosine, and so then we'd say cosine of 50 degrees is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse C. Solving that for C, we get C is 5 over the cosine of 50 degrees, and then if we pop that into the calculator, 5 divided by 50 degrees, cosine equals 7 point, uh, rounds to about 7.8. So we have now solved the right triangle. We have all the missing pieces, and that is our right triangle there. Now, the other type of right triangle you're going to run into would be a right triangle that has sides. So you're given two sides. And so if we look at this triangle here, let's see, I'll try to draw it out of the glare. So if I have some right triangle and I'm given two sides of the right triangle, say 
uh, the hypotenuse is 10 and this leg over here might be 7 and I want to find all the missing pieces. Well, if I label it A, B, C and we say then I want to find the length of A, the length of B, the length of C, the measure of angle A, the measure of angle B, and the measure of angle C. Uh, so I'm going to come back up here now because these two are exact I can actually use the Pythagorean theorem to find the missing side a here So if I fill in what I have I have side B is 7 side C is 10 I'm going to first find side a actually I also know measure of angle C is 90 because it is a right triangle I'm going to now find side a using the Pythagorean theorem so we can say a squared plus 7 squared equals 10 squared a squared plus 49 equals 100. Subtract the 49. A squared is 51. And A is the square root of 51, which is approximately, let's take a look, 7 point, let's see, 51 square root, 7.1. So I've got my missing side, A. Now I just need to find the missing two angles, measure of angle A and measure of angle B. And again, I'm going to use trig, but this is where we have to use the inverse trig to, to find the solution. So I'm going to set up an equation for angle A with the two given values I have. So A relative to A, uh, 7 is the adjacent leg and 10 is the hypotenuse. So I can say cosine of A is adjacent over hypotenuse. Uh, I can get an approximation here, and that's actually pretty easy. It's 0.7. And what I need to know then is A is going to end up being the inverse cosine of that decimal. And that's what I'm going to use my inverse cosine on my calculator. And when I put in 0.7 inverse, inverse, uh, la, 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 inverse cosine, um, I get... 45.6 degrees approximately and now because even though this is not exact I know that they do have to add up to 90 so if I subtract this from 90 I get 44.4 degrees and that is my other angle so even though it wasn't exact I can use it to find the angle because I am just subtracting so that would be the two versions of right triangles that you would have to solve I uh, hope this helps.